Today, we're going to be talking about thread safety. This is the definition of thread safety. Thread safety is all about correctness when being called from multiple concurrent threads. A lot of library functions that we use every day cannot be called safely from multi-threaded programs. Pseudo-random number generators like this implementation of RAND are designed to give the same set of return values every single time they're called in a certain order using a certain seed. This makes debugging easier. So if we call this function over and over and over again, it will give us the same return values for each individual call to RAND in a certain order. But if we interleave calls to RAND inside the main thread with calls to RAND outside of the main thread, we no longer have that guarantee and our code becomes non-deterministic. As we see here, if I run this program more than once, it's going to give different outputs based on the interleaving of the main thread and the worker thread. We've got two main techniques to solve this problem. One is to lock and copy, and the other one is to make sure that we don't use any global or static state. Take this fake implementation of ctime. It's problematic because it uses a global variable that's shared among all different threads to report its return value. We can use the lock and copy method to make sure that only one thread at a time is calling and then copying that global variable into one specific variable only for that caller at any given point in time. This fixes the thread safety issue with C time. Another way to solve this problem is to get rid of the shared state altogether. A lot of thread safe versions of standard library functions do this by allowing the calling thread to pass a pointer to its state variable as an argument. This allows different threads to maintain state that no other thread will access. The most important things to remember about thread safety are that correctness is about more than just crashing. Race conditions can lead to incorrect results even if they do look correct. The root of thread safety problems is not making sure that shared state is managed correctly. We solve this problem either by getting rid of the shared state altogether or making sure that it isn't accessed incorrectly. Stay tuned for the next video where we learn a little bit more about how this happens.